most common dental problem in my practice that I come across is dental caries. What exactly is it? Well, it's basically a breakdown of the tooth structure, which is because of the bacterial activity, which again is in turn because of the acid that is produced by food debris or sugar, which is left in your mouth. It starts as a yellow spot or a white spot on your tooth. And most of the times, you know, you will just miss out on it. At that state, it's just a demineralization of your enamel. And if you actually go to the dentist, they can reverse it for you. They can do some fluoride application, they can give you a regenerating toothpaste, and it can be stopped. But most of the patients miss out on it, and then it progresses to the next stage. And you might notice a brown or black discoloration on your teeth. At this point, again, we do a proper checkup for you, and we see either you need a filling or you don't need a filling. Most of the cases, what happens if there's a cavity and we feel there's food impaction, yes, we will go for a filling straight away. Then comes a stage if you neglect it and you don't go to the dentist again, there's a stage when you start feeling sensitivity. Definitely you will feel a sensation. Again at this point the treatment option is going to be a filling. But some patients they feel oh let me just use a desensitizing toothpaste, let me just keep waiting and waiting and if you keep waiting the same decay is going to spread to the pulp chamber. Now what is pulp chamber? It has the nerve endings, it has the pulp tissues. Once the DK or your bacterial infection, it goes and touches the nerve tissues, you will have pain, severe pain, and that is the point when most of the patients come to us. Now, if you come to a stage where it has already touched the nerve, the treatment option definitely is not going to be a simple filling. You will have to go for a root canal treatment. So finally, I would like to stress upon prevention is always better than cure. And you as a patient, how can you prevent it? Go for your regular checkups, Follow a very good oral hygiene instruction that are given to you the dentist. Brush your teeth regularly, have a healthy diet and keep smiling. We take a pledge, we'll treat you well.